hey 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 it's a girl Karen again welcome back to my video part two of um, nail repair or repairing your nails okay so in the first video I kind of introduced um, uh, the set and all that you need to do um, so and like I said I've completed these two for you or prior to the video now I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how um, it's done okay all right so before you do anything you need to wash your hands thoroughly soap and water the norm okay wash your hands with soap and water then you're gonna kind of buff you know your nails a little bit not too much because you're gonna do some buffing later um, you're gonna buff it a little bit kind of um, and this is what you're going to use this is your buffer and you're gonna use your your nail file to kind of straighten out the edges a little bit okay of course these nails are already short but you just want to make them nice and and the straight and even and the one thing that I don't like is um when I go to the nail salon oh my gosh I really don't want to be annoying okay and that's why I started doing my own hair and own nail own everything because I don't want to be annoying to anyone and it's like when they're doing your nails you want to say this and you want to say that even though you're paying your money but you, again you don't want to be annoying so the one thing I don't like is when your nail is already short yes we get that and we get the we get that um, you're going to put uh, the extensions on there so it's gonna hide your natural nail right at least the tip of your natural nail so they usually just apply the nail on there they don't straighten it out and it bugs me it bothers my mind like ouch can you stop and just file the thing down <laughs> I, I literally hate that I'm a, I'm a bit OCD okay <laughs> so yeah they do not do that and I don't like it when they don't do that okay depend on the person um, I'll mention it but if it's somebody who I you know it seems a little like edgy to me I won't, <laughs> I won't bother the person <laughs> So yeah, that, that is one thing I don't like. So I will advise you to just do that. So now in the kit that I have showed you in the first video, each section, um, each section uh, has different size nails. So you have a section for the thumb, a section for your, um, your pointer, your index finger, there's uh, another for your middle finger and your ring finger your your pinky so you have to um, and and sometimes they don't all connect with the with that um, finger or nail um, so you're gonna have to kind of do a little bit of measuring and stuff like that so anyways um, I am going to go ahead oh my goodness I lost the nail that I took out for you oh my gosh what happened all right so I am going to do the the index finger first and I am going to apply the kiss um, glue and when you're when you're um, if your glue is brand new when you're going to apply the glue you just want to cut off just a little teeny teeny tip of the edge of the glue okay not too much it's gonna come pouring out and that's gonna be <laughs> a real mess okay so you just want to cut just the, the the tip that just the edge and if it's still not open up what you can do you can use a pin or a needle and just kind of puncture it a little bit okay all right so you can do this one of two ways either you can apply it here on the very tip of the the um the nail it the nail or the extension nail or you can on the very tip of your your nail i prefer to apply it here okay so it's it's a matter of what you prefer to do and you don't want to put too much and then again you don't want to put too little you just have to use, use your judgment and put a moderate amount okay and you want to make sure you go ahead and close this back up because this thing dries out really fast all right so now I'm going to um, can you see all right I'm gonna make sure I fit it right onto the edge right here and you're gonna squeeze it down or press it down just for a few seconds you blow on it while you're doing that just for a few seconds just to get it um, situated on there and then 
when you're done, it should look like this. Oops, it's a little lean. <laughs> oh God, my brain, <laughs> it bothers me. That's a little bit lean, but you know, or maybe it's not, maybe it's my mind. Okay, but anyways, then you're going to take your, your, um, your clipper and you are going to cut to the desired length. I don't like my nails too long, neither too short. I, I like my nails just moderate. And when you're cutting, make sure you don't go too short, okay? Because you're gonna be filing and shaping. So I made sure I do that. I cut on both edges and then I kind of break it off like that. That's why you need to make sure it, it's situated in here real good. Then it's not cut um, straight, as you can see, so now is when you're going to take your file and you're going to do some filing, okay? Okay, so I filed down, I filed it down to my desired length, okay? I don't wanna to file too much because I don't want it to end up being too short, okay? And so this is my desired length and at the same time, you wanna make sure that it's, you know, and I would advise if you have a mask, you wear a mask because this thing has a lot of debris, tiny debris, and they're flying everywhere. The dust, I should say. And they're they're flying everywhere. You don't want to breathe that in. I should be wearing a mask. But anyways, um that's the end result. You wanna I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit more. But I just want to give this a break so that I can go back to these to show you how to apply the acrylic. Alright. So, okay guys, I took the brush out and I, I cleaned it off into some paper towel. You can use a cotton ball, but it leaves a little bit of fuzziness on it, so I'd rather to use a paper towel. And then I'm going to dip it into some acrylic and then in the powder, and you don't want to put too much, and I'm going to apply it onto the nail, okay? And then you sweep, you sweep towards the edge. So you're gonna apply it. You're gonna apply it at the base of the nail, and then you're going to sweep towards the front. Okay. There's one of two ways you can do this. Okay. You can either apply it at the the tip, and then you sweep backwards. I prefer to apply it to the base and then sweep towards the tip. Okay. Most um. Uh professionals at the nail salon they start they they start from the tip and sweep towards the the cuticle i rather to do it the other way because it's easier for me because i'm applying it myself so you know it's just easier for me to do that okay it's starting to look real good already all right okay so i'm not going to put a whole lot you know, I know some people like their their nails to be thick. I don't. I really don't want it to be thick. I want it to be as natural as can be. Okay. So I'm not I'm not gonna apply too much for it to be thick. And I I I, I actually find myself going both ways. Actually, both directions. I should say, on applying the acrylic front to back and then back to front you know, with, um, with applying this. All right. So yeah, that was not a good, um, <laughs> terminology just now. It sounds all wrong, but anyways, you know what I mean? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean around the ed edges, the extra, um, acrylic and powder, because again, you want it to be nice and neat. Okay, and if you don't think you can do this, you know, I I wouldn't advise you to attempt to do it. But if you feel confident enough that you can master this, you can tackle this and hold it down, by all means, please. All right, so we have to wait for it to dry a little bit before we start filing. So guys, I'm not going to do all four nails for you on the video. I would just want to show you how you apply the tip and how to to um, apply the, the acrylic and powder. Okay, so I'm waiting for this to dry and then I'll see you in my next video, okay? Thank you for watching.